those of you who were used to using QuickBooks Desktop, there was always a handy little calculator within the transactional boxes that you could use. When QuickBooks Online came along, it seemed to have disappeared. You tried to do the same thing, you entered your, your amounts in and nothing worked. And everybody thought, apart from QuickBooks obviously, that it had disappeared. Well, it hasn't. And if you've never seen it before, this is great. And I'm going to show you how you use it. Now, it's particularly useful, for example, if you have lots of little receipts and you actually enter them into your system manually. So say, for example, you went to the shop and you bought a load of supplies and you've come back with all those little receipts and they're like, six or seven of them for post for, for the post you've got another lot for supplies so let's just say you've gone into your petty cash we'll use checking for now but just say you were doing it for petty cash and you entered we bought some supplies for the office i don't know provisions let me call it say for example and we've got our little receipt so we spent six pound on one thing we spent three pound fifty on something else 11 on something else, 17 on something else, and 5. And then we click or press the tab key on our keyboard, and there we have the full total amount. And then the next we may have spent some money on postage for the month. So instead of doing loads of little receipts or loads of adding... Oh, where's my postage gone? Or do we even have... Oh, we don't have postage. Okay. Oh, I don't want income either. Um, in fact, this is an exercise to show you how to add an account. Save and close. Yep. Postage. I'm determined to have my postage. First week of the month, we spent 20 on postage. Then we spent 78. Then we spent 156. Press the tab key on the keyboard. And that's how much is our total. Okay that's it and then we just save out of there save and close and it's done and that's all you have to do add them up press the add key and then press tab and we're done thank you so much for watching i hope this was useful